Hi, it's Leanne here for, again from the Wisdom Conference in the third day and I'm going to really get this right this time. <laughs> I've screwed up on every single name but this is the hardest one, okay? So this is Kesonga. Mm -hmm. Okay, got the first name, Kiskombe. Yes. All right, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> and he's from North Carolina, right? Yeah, Chapel uh, Hill. Chapel, Chapel Hill. Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've uh, talked to people that have uh, apps, people who are authors, all sorts of people. I haven't talked to any body worker. You're yeah. a body worker, right? I am. I'm, acupun <laughs> I'm an acupuncturist and I also teach mindfulness. And mindfulness. So that's really cool how you combine the two. Can you explain a little bit about how you do that? Well, actually, in the beginning of my practice, I used to combine the two. Um, simultaneously. Wow. But then, but then I what, found... What do you mean? Like they're being poked and you say like concentrate on your breath? That right, kind of thing? right, right. <laughs> and I found though that it's more effective. That was a little overwhelming. A little overwhelming yeah. for them. Yeah, I can um, see that. Yeah. So what, what <laughs> I start... You focus on the, po <laughs> on the poking, not on the breath. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. So, but I found that by separating the sessions, mm -hmm. uh, maybe acupuncture today and um, some mindfulness meditation the next day, um, the next session, yep. I found that to be most effective. So what happens when someone, do you do one before the other or do you do mindfulness first or you do acupuncture first? It depends. Does it, it depend? Yeah, it depends. There's no modality? Yeah. And what do you see the difference in someone who just does acupuncture or someone who does both? What do you see the results? Actually, um, I, I love the whole science behind acupuncture. Mm -hmm. um, lately though, I've been doing um, more <laughs> uh, no problem. <laughs> Lately, I've been actually teaching more mindfulness. Oh, teaching? Yeah, to te who? Well, I teach mindfulness through UNC Chapel Hill, University of North Carolina okay. Chapel Hill's medical school. Oh, um, They have a program of integrative medicine there, and they have an eight-week um, MBSR mindfulness-based stress reduction um, class mm -hmm. that they offer to the public. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's so, cool. Yeah. That's really neat. You like yeah. that? You like teaching? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna I be a professor it. too? Well, not not necessarily <laughs> professor. They, 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 I do it through my my practice, so uh -huh. I do it contractually. Oh, neat. Um, I also teach second through fifth graders at a Montessori school. That's amazing. Yeah, so amazing. I bring so tell me, so, tell us a little bit about that, because uh, you know I think what I've noticed down here is the mindfulness in schools is so much more commonplace than back mm -hmm. home. And I talk to my friends and and colleagues; they all know that that's something we need. Yeah. But can you tell us a little bit about that, because you have children as well, right? Yeah. No. I, I think I can just imagine um, when I was growing up. I just think back yeah. hindsight. If I had um, been introduced to mindfulness at you know second grade or yes. fourth grade, how, how different and my outlook on yeah. on life would have been. Yeah. And um and you know we were all born mindfully, right? Yeah. We're, we're, you know children, yeah. babies. You know if you put a rattle in a baby's hand, you yeah. know it's all about that rattle. In that yeah, present moment. That's right. Yes. Right. Once you take that rattle out, it's out of sight, out of yeah. mind. So we're born mindfully. Mindf mindfulness is, is innate. It's within us. Mm -hmm. It's just when you know, as we grow up, the world and all the, all the shit comes down all on the us. All you know? yeah. Right. Right. So as a father, how do you use mindfulness? Well, I try to meditate with my girls. I have two daughters. Um, I try to meditate with them every day before school. Gosh, and, um, I wish I could do that with my teenage boys. I don't have none of it. <laughs> they meditate with their uh, iPads, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On Netflix. Yeah, that, and that's so funny because technology is just is flying. It's yeah. flying. It's so fast yeah, yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah. And so to be able to just stop and be present, you know, yeah. just makes that much more of a difference. So one takeaway you have from the the uh, conference, anything you want to share? You enjoyed it, I assume. I enjoyed it tremendously. Yeah. Um, one of the biggest takeaways is um, I went to a talk. Um, I remember his first time I think it was Simon, and he, and he was talking about decision making, mm. and um, how important it is to be present in your decision making process. Mm. And that was that was that was pretty awesome. That's great. And also Russell Simmons, kind of um, his his Q and A and his yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go vegan. I'm vegetarian already. Oh, really? But I think I'm wow. going to take the plunge. Good for you. I'm going to take okay. the vegan plunge. I still have to get to the vegetarian <laughs> stage. <laughs> but I know we yeah. there was a lot of talk of that this week. And, you know, being conscious, for sure, that's the next step. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I've got to get onto that plan as well. <laughs> so thanks but, so much. Oh, is there anything else you want to say? or is that, um, No. You, no, you kind of like this idea. You said you might do a video log back home, too. Yeah, so we yeah. can kind of connect our communities. I would love, so it would be I really would love fun. to do this. You have inspired me to 
to, to start awesome. something like this. So oh, this I is, love it. That's great. Yeah, so is, right, amongst really health awesome. co- uh, care practici- practitioners, healers, and stuff like yeah. that, be I, really talk, cool. I go to a lot of seminars also, so yeah. this would be something that would be really awesome. Oh, great. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right. Leanne. There we do. High five. Leanne is awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's All awesome. Right.